Hi there, welcome to Lenos's Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and on today's episode, we're gonna be covering a Japanese whiskey, something I haven't done for a little bit of time, and more on that, the Nika Takatsu Pure Malt. Now, I've covered quite a few Nikas now, not the entire range by any stretch of the imagination, but um, if you check back in my kind of previous catalogue, I've got things like the Nika All Malt, my, one of my favorite whiskies, the Nika from the Barrel, the Super Nika Revival, and uh, of course the Pure Malt White Label. There's lots and lots of other stuff, um, specifically the Takatsuru Pure Malt. This is the non-age statement version of a few of the Takatsuru kind of age statement -y jobs. And you're talking like there's a, there's a 12, I think there's a 17-year-old that's still available, the 12 is discontinued, the 21 is discontinued, the 25 is discontinued. All of these things, just like typical Japanese whiskies, are hard to get, and if they're on auction sites, they're expensive. But um, this Takatsu is the surname of the guy who created the Nika whiskey brand. It's uh, Masataka Takatsuru, I believe. He went to Scotland in the early 1900s because he just loved whiskey. He wanted to go and, and check it out, and he started a bit of an apprenticeship there. He studied chemical engineering in Glasgow and he just steeped himself in kind of Scottish, Scotch whiskey making before he finally moved back to Japan with his Scottish wife and set up the Nika Whiskey Distillery in Yochi. Something like 35 years later, he founded a second distillery, which is the Miyakakao Distillery. Um, the first one, I believe, is in Hokkaido, and the second one's in Sendai. And uh, this kind of brand that they've got, the Nika whiskey brand, is made up of single malt stuff from the Yoshi and the Mikiao distillery, but also vatted and blended things from wherever they feel like getting it. Like, for instance, the Nika pure malt had some Scottish whiskey in there, or maybe some barley. I can't remember which way around it is, but still, it it's all goes in and they produce these kind of blends. Some are kind of branded as, as, as superior, some are the kind of entry level. For instance, the Pure Malt is an entry level, a big, big 70 silk bowl. Whereas the, from the barrel, although it's cheap, at about 38 to 40 pounds, it's only a half litre bottle. So you can, you can upscale that. This is a little tiny bottle. In fact, it's a Japanese bottle. And this was brought to me by a good friend of mine called Matt Saunders. Uh, he went to Japan and bought this back for me. He actually, well, he used to run a, a YouTube channel called Carl Red Barrel, but he's kind of stopped doing that. He does uh, Twitch streaming now, which is kind of gaming, things like that. He does um, lots of uh, like simulator things. Like it's a really good channel. So if you're into your gaming as well as your whiskey, then feel free to go and uh, check him out on Twitch. I'll put a, a link in the description below. But uh, cheers for that, Matt. So let's go into the jam itself and see what we've got. Oh, it's bottled at 43%, which is a, it's a good bottling strength for something basic, a, a kind of base uh, non-age statement version. Shows a statement of intent at least. Not sure about anything else, added color, whatever. You know me, I don't really care about that. It's around, 55 pounds in the UK for a full size bottle. This is a 180 mil. So for a 700 mil, you're talking 55 pound, which is a little high, I'll be honest. Um, I am not sure if I would have uh, bought a whole bottle of it myself. I would have bought this little wee bottle because because of the nature of the channel, you want to get lots of, lots of experience of different kind of whiskies to be able to put them out on the channel once or twice a week. And buying big bottles twice a week isn't conductive to uh, personal bank balance, so these little ones are perfect. And this is an absolutely perfect size to sample this thing. So, enough talking about all the nonsense, let's get into the dram itself and see if it's any good. Now, typically I don't give big tasting notes, but something that really stood out for me on the nose on this straight away, I guess it's tropical fruits, but for me there's, there's a little sweet that, we, that I used to eat when I was a kid. I'm not sure how far reaching this goes out of the UK or whatever, but we used to call them fruit salads. Fruit salads and blackjacks 
are like kind of the, the, the sweets that came together. But the, specifically the fruit salad, the little yellow and red one, tropical fruits and stuff like that. All over it. Bananas, vanilla, touch of caramel on the nose as well. Let's give it a taste. Mm, it's spicy all over. More like caramel coming through. And kind of pepper, pepper, like cracked pepper, white pepper, that sort of thing. Very spicy, very tingly. Mm. Finish is, uh, it's not long, it's probably medium-y. Nice and warming, but overall well-rounded dram. It is rather nice, it is rather nice. I do enjoy it and I have been enjoying the little bits of this I've had and I will continue to enjoy this off, off uh, camera, but... It brings me to the typical question of will I spend £55 on it? Probably not, probably not. It seems a little bit expensive to me. I'm sure they've got the good reason, but... In my humble opinion, I feel like they might be riding the the kind of trend of very expensive Japanese whiskies, or they tend to have disappeared a little bit now that stocks have dwindled such. Um, I think my friend got this for a pretty reasonable price in Japan, and I'm sure you could get a full bottle of it for a reasonable price if you were in Japan. Clearly, I wouldn't recommend flying all the way just to pick up a bottle, but if I was gonna buy this on UK market right now, 55 pounds, I'd probably leave it as good as it is, as good as it is. Hmm. Thanks for watching this little review on the Nika Takatsura Pure Malt. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out more videos just like this. I put out new content every Monday and every Thursday. A couple of live streams coming your way soon as well. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.